Olympics with so much pride, wanting to get into the semifinals. And uh, napakaganda, you eh, know, quarterfinals palang magkatapat na sila. The most storied franchise in the PBA, Etong Petron, which used to be called San Miguel, versus the most dominant as of late team in Talking Text. Well, you look at Talking Text, definitely they have been very dominant in the last few years. But Petron is a team that's searching, searching for that. Parang pag manalo itong Petron ng isang championship, pag pakiramdam mo, magiging tuloy tuloy na the dominance. When they figure out how to win, it's going to be so difficult to beat Petron. How about Talk and Dex starting the playoffs from the number six spot? Uh, sila ka po yung pang anim na seed. Unfamiliar territory yan, Dom. Sanay na sanay yan. Sa ibabaw palagi. Paano kaya sila magre-respond dito? Well, it's a test of character. Again, for Talk and Dex, hindi nga sila sanay dito. And if you look at their statistics this conference, they're not the number one defensive team. And they have been winning consistently previously because of their defense. Mintis yung unang atake ng tropang Dexters, Petron. Now on the move, aanim na segundo na titira sa kanilang shot clock. Malay yung tres galing kay Lasseter at yun nga yung binabanggit mo, no? si Reyes yung tumatao sa kanya. Well, he has the assignment of trying to stop a Marshall Lasseter. Marshall, you know, he's had playoff experience nung natlong pa siya sa Power 8. So you expect him na pupuntahan siya talaga ng Petron. You look at Marshall, he's the number one leading Lotus. Kind of took a back step, but now... That, that they feel that they need a lot more from Arwin Santos, especially in fiery nature. Niya. Si Arwin, kasi in fiery nature, niya, pinapakita niya sa laro niya with, in terms of his aggressiveness off the boards. Rani Del Deo Campo gets TNT on the board. Tubid may tanga ng bola sa kabilang dulo. Santos will offer the pick. Hinahanap nila si Sims dun sa poste. Quick hands on the part of Jordan, gets the ball back over to Tubid. Limang segundo na lang sa shot clock. Rani Del takes it away. Alapag finds Dillinger on the run. Three on two. The Daredevil finishes with a left hand. Well, Jared Dillinger, one of the guys who's really made an impact in the Smart Gilas program. And yung kumpiyansa yun dinadala niya dito. You know, you usually when you look at Jared Dillinger, parang second string siya sa talk and text. They're that, they're that strong and depending on sino mga kalabin la. But the basketball tong si Denok Miranda, his free throw shooting is one of the things that uh, he needs to improve on. 4-1 is the score. Yung split gets Petron on the board. Barely two minutes into the action. Dillinger looking for Jordan. Sims meeting Jordan all the way up top. Hindi makatanggap si Alapag. Ganda naman ang depensa ni Miranda. And that's a defense that you want. You don't want Jimmy Alapag to create for his teammates. So you delay it. Ngayon, makita mo shot clock. One second there. Ronidel couldn't bail him out. Sims for the rebound. Tubid, directing traffic. Pupunta muna kay Sims. Lassiter sa kanyang kaliwa. Sims puts it on the floor. Teardrop is good para kay Henry. Using his quickness that time against the talk and text import. Kabilang dulo, mga ngalabaw naman si Jerome Jordan. Nakuyog siya doon. Umihingi ng foul ang buong bench ng Petron dahil binigyan para o pinag-iwanan ng pasalubong itong si Tubid. Malamang exchange gift naman yun. <laughs> si Tubid yung katapat mo doon as Deno gets the short one. But nobody trying to stop Denok Miranda on that drive. Reyes contra Lassiter. Spinning baseline. Reyes gusto mga tawan. Taking the contact and will through to the line for tribute ni Coach Norman ng minuto sa kanya mga tropa. For one thing about Talking Text is they've been so dominant. That's why there's a lot of injuries also because usually every conference mas madami silang nilalaro and they play so hard they give a lot of pride on defense. So may mga injuries. That's why he needs to be able to distribute the minutes para hindi masadong mabukbog yung mga players and they will peak at the right time. So it lines it up and dials it in. Petron now up by two, eight six. Jordan deep position. Sina kayan para ni Sims. Oh, great defense that time by Sims. Kita mo ganon kahirap yung tirang ginawa niya ni Jordan. And if you talk about intimidating presence, you know they've only been here for a while, and Sims really trying to get that block off Jordan. And ito si Sims batang bata pa yan, so just experience is what he needs in this ball game. Could be his uh, first playoff. Santos bothered by RDO. Miranda is fouled by the by Deo Camp. But magkaibang magkaiba yung field goal percentage natin sa simula. Ha? 20% for Token Tech, 75 naman for Petron. Kaya naman lamang dito ng dalawang puntos. At bit-bit ang kanilang pangarap na maging susunod na basketball star. Naandito na ang limampung alaksan national campers na nagpakita ng sipag, determinasyon at pagpupursige. Ngayon, Ngayon ang huling araw ng kanilang 3-day training sa National Camp 
kasama ang PBA Legends at sa kanilang pagkatapos, kumisita sila dito sa PBA upang mapanood at makilala ang kanilang mga inspirasyon ang mga PBA players. Tumutok lang mamaya sa Active Center para sa kabuuan ng kanilang Day 2 sa camp. A great pass that time by Jim Elipag setting up his import for that slam. 9-8 is the score. Petron trying to add to this one-point lead. Jordan beating Sims to the leather. Tama pa niya sa tuhut ni Sims bago lumabas ang bola. Well, this is that play. Jimmy Alapag off that pick and roll. One, two step. Slam for Jordan. Alapag on the move. Ah! Looking for Jordan once again. Pass a little too hot. Nasa Petro na ang bola. And all of a sudden, itong talk and text uh, applying pressure in the backcourt just to delay itong diskarte ng place boosters. Sims looking for Lasseter. Reyes beats him to the punch. Reyes pushes it the other way. Nice bounce to Dillinger. Nabitin lang. Yung kanyang maigsing tira. Tubid on a two-on-one to Santos. Stopping on a dime. Arwin gets the two points. Great being patient. That biggest conglomerates dito sa Pilipinas magbabakbakan. The student wanting to learn a thing or two from the master coach. Well, that's the beauty of an old San Rosella. He knows that he's still trying to learn You know, he has a lot to learn about sa pag uh, coach dito sa PBA. And what a great way to start out your playoff career. Kalaban mo agad itong si Coach Norman Black. Miranda against Alapag. Pingin ng Pique Santos. Then up to Arwin from the outside. Long two is out. Dillinger para sa rebound. Those teams sticking with their starting units here. Coming up on the halfway mark ng quarter number one. Jordan looking for Alapag. Kay Reyes na lang inabot ang bola. Reyes for three. Punches it through! Ryan Reyes with five points already here in the first quarter. Yung unang dalawa niya nang galing sa free throw. Just a smart place for Ryan Reyes. Tabla sa 11 ang ating bakbakan. First deadlock of this contest. Lasseter to Santos. Puts it on the floor. Offensive foul. Whistled there. On Arwin Santos as he tried to recover that zone pass. So far, na ihirapan talaga ito si Marshall Lester dun sa depensa pinapakita ni Ryan Reyes, and that's again the plays for talk and text. They need to be able to defend that pick and roll na pinapakita ng talk and text. Nari po na siya, ripinasok na ng tropang texters as Alapag. Looking to operate, they swing it around. Reyes, nice bounce to Jordan. Two-handed jam. Well, look at that play of talk and text from one side, pick and roll. It was swung all the way to the other side. Then umabot din sa kanilang import. One quick spin, two points again. Pero yung magiging crisp and quick ng mga pasa, yung nag-i-susi doon. At may kita mo ganun ka crisp yun because that's something that they run in practice. Hindi na nakarecover ang depensa na itong Petron. Miranda over to Tubid. Puna share on him. Tubid back to Miranda. Here's a long one. Dano comes up short. Couldn't bail him out of that shot clock trouble. Talking text still shooting 33%. This is that play. Pick and roll. And then all the way swung to the side. Jordan for a slam. Mang Tomas macho ganado move yan. Isang boteng Mang Tomas patok sa mga macho ng buhay nyo. Mang Tomas macho ganado. 13-11. Petro now down by two. Lasseter looking for the deadlock. Di makuha. Jordan with yet another board. So far, Tokitex holding their own. Contra dito sa Petro. Lapag talagang hinahanap nila. They won again. Yung mga teammates niya, Jerome is perfect for their system. Not only is he a strong inside presence, he's a very good passer. Ang siguro naging konting problema lang ni Jerome is yung init. Sabi niya, lately, he's been trying to stay indoors, guys. Ako rin eh. Ayoko naglalalabas eh. Ako naman, gusto-gusto ko sa labas. Aba? Woo! Kung nasa beach ka lang. Yun lang. Pero yung nakta ka na inin. At napansin natin yan nung nakarang Wednesday dong. In that fourth quarter, aba, halos kaubusan eto si Jerome Jordan as Sims is fouled. One point in the fourth quarter lang for 80s. Pinanggit mo na kanina na sinabi ng coaching staff na itong Petro na baka sinusukat pala sila, baka hindi pa inilabas ang lahat ng bara. Ano tingin mo nangyari doon? Talaga bang uh, meron posibilidad na si Jordan, tip, pinakita mo na, ayan ang gagawin ng Sims, ayan ang gagawin ng Fajardo, Santos in Washington, panorin mo na. Well, I think they definitely did not show everything that they can. Because, you know, wala naman sila masyadong magigain doon eh. 
Parang excited na siya na si Benji tsaka si Barry. Hindi, <laughs> tinula ko. <laughs> <laughs> tinula ko lang. 16-12 <laughs> is the score. Talk and text starting to take control here in the first quarter, Dom. Well, they've been doing so far what they're going to their strength. They've been able to create off that pick and roll and also they're able to set up their shooters. Nakakadalawang three points na itong talk and text. Yung isa doon kay Ryan Reyes, yung isa naman kay Rani Del. Coach Olsen Rosella should be happy about that. They located the open man coming off their own timeout. Ganyan din naman nangyari sa tropa nung napatawag ng maaga kanina si Coach Norman Black. Pero tignan mo naman, hindi na matutuwa si Coach Olsen. Wala nang nag-recover doon sa atake ni Del Campo. Well, too easy para kay Rani Del Del Campo. One dribble, two steps, all the way to the basket and nobody helped. Abagnot with a pull-up. Scampering for it, pero nakunahan siya ni Ponacher. Castro is bothered by Lassiter. Nanatili ang possession dito sa drop. Take another look at that last attack by Rani Del. Getting the drop on Arwin Santos. Nobody home para sa Petro. Somebody should be helping on that other side. Strong side pa naman ni Rani Del Campo yan. Aban pumasok na, pasama pa si Alosaini para dito sa tropa. Castro with the leather. Steps on the gas, natagaan. Ni Cabagnot, pero pati Braso kasama. So far for Togget Tech. Castro overshoots it. Nanatiling tatlo ang abante ng tropang Texters. Lots now on the floor para sa Petron gets it over to Sim. Sims on the move, but set up and in. So far, Sims already with five points. Two times that he went to the basket using his quickness, he was rewarded. Asa isang abante ng tropa. Less than two and a half remaining in quarter number one. Una share may tangan. Natikit sa kanyang parang linta. Eto si Marshall. They go to Jordan. Fajardo had a hand on that rebound and finally collars it para sa Petron. Well, let's see if Jumar Fajardo can duplicate that game that he had last Wednesday. Double-double performance yun, ano? Well, this time around, mukhang handa ang tropa slapping that leather away. Two-minute warning na in the first quarter. Castro, bigla na lang umatake. Ang bilis talaga ng hindi first step eh. First three steps dito ni Castro. Pero kapag not able to get to that passing lane. Alipik, pumasok para kay Jordan. Sinabayan naman ni Washington. Ang pag-reviebo dito kay Lassiter yun. Shot clock is at 8 para sa mga nakapute. Castro lines up a 3. Bang! Every time on that pick and roll, hindi nakakahabol yung mga primary defenders. Jason Castro now with his first 3-point shot and the third for Talking Text this quarter. Papaulan ng 3 dito. Ang TNT makakabawi ba ang Petron? Lutz on the move, gets it out to Sims. Pull up jumper, Henry delivers. That's what you like about Sims. He's steady from the outside, he has that jumper, and he's not afraid to take that shot. Basta dalawa ang hinahabot dito ng Blaze Boosters. Castro contra Cabagno. Alusini will offer the pick. Castro in traffic. Both are talking about Vladito and Sims. One thing I noticed with Sims, Doon sa kanyang mga laro dito eh, halos lahat ng mga tira na pupunta sa harapan niya, hinahabol talaga niya. At kahit medyo malayo pa, hinahabol pa rin itong si Henry Sims. 2.3 shot, shot blocks per ball game ang average niya ni Henry Sims. Nakakuha pa siya ng rebound doon. Magkakataon ng Petron makatabla. Fifth rebound of the game for the Petron import. Lutz with a pull-up. Overshoots. The Kraken. In traffic, nice jab step fake. Walang pa rin ang bola doon sa traffic. Oh, good team defense that time by Talking Text. Maganda yung pag-help ni Harvey Carey. Castro goes the other way. Ponacher puts it on the floor. Pull up jumper on top of Sims. Wala. Harvey Carey, offensive rebound. Talking Text will reset this attack. Slight differential between the quarter clock and shot clock. Talking Text has 12 seconds to work with. Castro winding down the time. Now starts to make his move. Two to shoot. Castro for three. Not that time around. That'll do it. Para sa unang